Yes, Commander. Keeping an eye on.
Are you interested? Hmm, pleasing. Of course. We accept. This makes me content. Hail, Sovereign. Yes, sir. Fall in.
Greetings, Sovereign. Are you with me? Or against me? Right, so here we are in the uh, Humankind Noob run. I've got a, um, I'm the Celts, I'm at turn 59. I'm uh, gonna run through and see what I can do and get to the, uh, uh, try to get to the next era, see what the deal is going on. And uh, in the meantime, I've been kind of stumbling through and trying to figure out what's going on. I uh, figured out something with religious sites, but I don't know how to build a religious site. Uh, I did, did figure out my ship, so I'm gonna play around with my ship right now. Um, so I think you have to not leave your ship in the ocean. This is all ocean here. Okay, so this is uh, coastal, so I can get over there. And I eventually want to end up over here, but I will uh, go this way. Looks like he's built a bunch of things in this nice bay there. Good for him. Uh, next, I'm just going to we'll make him here. stop, we'll pause, this guy, I'm going to see if I can get him back to this hill fort, that's good, and let's see, what else is going on here? Uh, let's see, so, cities? Everything's going fine in my cities. It's not going fine in my cities. I've got one idle army, which is oh, this guy. I'll let him move. So that's going to let me in my turn. I'm going to go on to my next turn. A lot of things I could think about or do, but I'm going to try to buzz through it. I can. Okay, so I've got 508. Okay, so I, I claimed Stonehenge. Oh, like 10 turns ago, 
and then once you claim it, it shows up in your uh, build, build, uh, buildable items, and then you have to spend the uh, time and effort building it. Um, so it looks like I can claim some of these things here. So Hans got the hanging, the hanging gardens. Stonehenge gives me faith and stability. So I, I could claim Zeus, which will give me faith, stability, and money per alliance. Lighthouse of Alexandria, which will give me stability. And plus two naval movement speed. That seems nice. And the Colossus of Rhodes gives me... Yeah, I think I'll try to build the Lighthouse of Alexandria just to spend 450 influence, which I have 508. Okay, so this this uh, little screen must trigger as soon as, it's, as soon as you have enough influence to build something. Must be placed on coastal water or lake. Can we go once? We can no longer move. Okay, sure. I'll build it. Or at least claim it. So at some point soon, I'll probably want to build... There it is right there. It'll only take me 14 turns. That's not too bad. And it will allow me to build it... Ooh, I could build it right near my uh, harbor. Anyway, uh, I'll worry about that in a little bit. I've got to get the House of Scribes done. I could finish that off now. That's 269. I've got 606, so this would be less than half to build the House of Scribes. Oh, yeah. So the House of Scribes now is one science per researcher. So I've got four researchers. I think I'm going to three turns... I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm not really thinking too much about it. I'm trying to prioritize food so, so I can prioritize go growth so I can get my population up to the, the limit. Um, yeah, let me buy the scribes and then build the... So I could build that... I can build that uh, not there because... Um, not my area. Yeah, this is my area here. Yeah, there we go. I could build it over here. Um, I don't see any reason to not build it. Maybe it would. Maybe it would screw up that. Uh... Okay. So what does it do? No. Um, Twenty stability, five vision range. Um, wherever it is, I guess my naval units are. Stronger and faster, more stability, I get some fame. And uh, I guess my question is, if I build it here, is it going to screw up the exploitation? You know, I'd love to get on this uh, island here. Bloop, 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 bloop. It'd be nice to have it down here so I could see what's going on in the hunting territory, but that's not too much. Uh, you know what? Since since I don't know what I'm doing, I'm going to feel free to put it here. And if that screws up my four... Um, actually, what, what happened when I built the uh, Stonehenge? Stonehenge is up here. Nope, that's there's Stonehenge. So when I built the Stonehenge... It looks like it creates stability, grain, and faith. Well, I don't know if it's going to get rid of that four wheat or not, but I guess I'll find out. It didn't get rid of it right away, but I guess we'll find out later on if that's what it did. So, wait, was that the harbor? Yeah, there's the harbor. So I've got a harbor, and then on top of the harbor, I've got the lighthouse. So that the lighthouse will probably destroy the harbor. Eh, who knows? Uh, that's the interesting... I've got just a list of things that I have no idea what they're...
Okay, so the lighthouse plus harbor is going to equal something. I don't know what it is. It's going to either equal a lighthouse or a lighthouse plus a harbor. Uh, four idle armies. Yeah, I just okay. Oh, let me check the sounds. Bought my silk for some money. Well, that's good. Let me now that I've got a little bit of money here. Let me check and see if I can buy anything. I could buy a granary. Gives me two food per. F oh. So I'm losing one food here. So I'm going to need this two food. Let me go ahead and buy this. So I get two food. So I had negative one. I got two times two. I got four. So that's where the three comes from. So I'm going to gain another population, I think, in seven turns. I can't really figure out this interface. Um, and I'm not constructing. Okay, so my idea was I wanted to construct a. So I don't want to construct construct another district. Wait, what was what was I in a hurry to construct? So that's not going to help me too much if I work on that. So we take 12. So that would add, that would uh, make this two turns faster, but I sure have other things I need to do. Uh, let's do money on harbor. Too many night lumber yards that I know of. A forge. I've only got one copper. Plus three money on harbor. Okay, this adds some stability. That might be a good idea. <clears throat> yeah, you know, just I don't want to buy defensive units. It just seems like a waste. So maybe I will buy. I'm going to be running out of uh, cap, population cap. So uh, if I gain one every eight, I think I can just keep building units, and then the units, the population will go, the population increase will go into the units instead of into the city, which is capped anyway. I think I'll do that. Okay. So now, what am I doing? Four idle armies. I'm just going to. Keeping an eye out. We'll stay. This guy here. Okay, so this guy. Understood. I want him to go to the edge of the ocean, of the coast, so that I can see if there's any islands or anything out there. Okay, so that's that. In turn, and now I'm on turn 61. Okay, the Maya reached the classical era. Boy, three stars ahead of me. That's pretty impressive. And I built something called trans uh, trade expedition. I researched trade exposition expeditions that will allow me to build this transport gallery. So I was looking at this earlier, I find this uh, text to be pretty much just complete gibberish. Ranged combat naval unit must have line of sight to attack. I understand that. Replaces land units which embark to travel across ocean tiles. 
So I read that, and for a long time I thought, okay, land units can travel across ocean tiles, and this replaces those, but apparently that's not true. So I'm going to build one of these. Uh, transport gallery. Zzz. And do some other stuff. So, um, let me go to Patrick Jr. And put the Zanshi on hold and build this, uh, and, no. Okay. So that new ship doesn't hasn't showed up yet. So I guess I'll just wait till the end of the turn. Uh, what else do I got? Four idle armies. This guy's ready to go. One. Two. Two. Three. So that looks like it might be the edge of the map. Ready all throw. We'll stay here. We'll keep an eye on things. Yes, Commander. So when I researched that um, ship, I would like to be able to build it. Maybe I don't have a harbor anymore. This game is a... Oh no, I do have a harbor because I can build this thing here. Okay, so this says... Alright, it's got something I have to do here. The Sands of Time. I came across a curious sight. Two vast and trunkless legs of stone. Besides what's lied a shattered visage. I am Ozymandias. Behold my works, ye mighty and despair. Okay, so how do I want to find immortality? Or do I want to preach? That will give me... All right, so if I move uh, closer to the middle, I get a little bit, I will get a little bit more stability if I cross one of those uh, faint lines that you can't see. Right? Is right too. Okay, so right, that'll give me more stability. And venerate will keep me right in the middle there. So, what else? Bountiful on two targets for five. That would be nice. Patriotic. I could buy land and naval. Okay, so I'm going to build a naval unit. That would be nice. And. 50% religious district industry cost. Well, I would love to do that, but I, as far as I know, I can't build religious districts for some reason. I'm going to pick right. Uh, again, I'm, I'm trying I'm trying to buzz through the game, uh, do a noob run, uh, do a fast-paced thing, pick cultures uh, kind of random-ish, uh, try to get to the minimum number of era stars, auto-resolve my battles, uh, pick the cheapest tech, you know, not, not overthink the tech. tech. The civics, uh, I said, that's the one that, what I was just working on. Uh, try to get the middle try to get to the middle on civics that'll give you a little bit stability it turns out and if i do have a unique district i'll build it i've already done that for these zhao and for the celts so there's that and let me continue end turn so i think at the end of the turn i'm going to be able to i'm going to be able to build a transport and then i'm Then I got the Zanch I'm building. So I build the Zanch, build a transport. Transport will show up at the uh, harbor, hopefully. I'll put the Zanch on the transport and put the, and then move the Zanch over to this place here so they can at least pick up this uh, discovery and then maybe look around and see what's going on. Okay, so uh, let's keep going. Turn 61. Money, money, Aristar unlocked. All right, so. I got an agrarian star by having population. So my population went up to 27. Presumably when I go back to the main screen, it'll send me a notification saying your population went up. So I, so I got an Aristar. I'm assuming if my population goes down, I don't lose that Aristar. Uh, my next Aristar is 250. 
uh, sorry, is uh, 46. So that, I mean, that's another uh, 20 or uh, 19. That's going to be tough to get. So I think the next two era stars I'm going to get. I don't, I don't think I can do a militarist. Uh, I think I can do another technology. So I'll get one, another star there. And then merchant. So I've earned 1775 over the, over the, this era, I guess. Okay. Wait. Did seven territories and destroy units. So I don't, I'm not in any wars. I'm not going to claim any territory. So I'm not going to be able to expand the number of stars here. Okay. My influence is 1800. So I think I might be able to get influence, an influence star. That'll give me one more. And then I'm not going to be able to build another eight districts. Um, one I don't have, I can't take the stability hit right now, or I'd have to work out work out a way to do it. So I need two stars. I can, I'll probably do it using the science method. Okay, so um, let's see, what is this saying? Oh, influence. Uh, you know, I might be able to get an influence, and then science. So influence said uh, 1800. My influence is. 2,338. Uh, so I so I must have earned 1,800 and then spent 1,600 of that. What does this do out of four mean? City cap. All right. So I can have more cities, but uh, I'm in a small. I picked a small world so that I can keep the pace fast. Uh, and the big thing I'm interested in is this ship going out and having some fun. Ooh, there's a discovery up there. I'm gonna pass on that. Three. What is this thing here? This must be Halong Bay. So there's another territory over here. Usually, I don't know. I guess here's a territory that's kind of the ocean territory. Well, anyway, that's one of the reasons why I'm out exploring is so I can figure out how the how the map works and things work. Um, so I'm probably going to shoot up. Let me turn the hexes on. One, two, three, four. Shoot up to here. Uh, just to see what this territory is about <clears throat> and then the turn after that i'll go one two three four so i can get back in the coastal area and do this discovery so hopefully hopefully discoveries in the ocean are uh, very uh, valuable but i don't know we will find out oh here's a Right, so here's the territory. So, so I, you know what? <clears throat> I'm thinking I want to pop over here, claim this territory. That's what I want to do. So that's my next goal is to claim this territory here. That would be super duper nice to have, I think. And let's see, what is this? It's, okay, never mind. So it didn't tell me I had an extra pop. So I don't know what's going on there. Oh, and my theory is that I now can build that ship. And the answer is no, I can't. Okay, so uh, let's see. So this says that I have access to trade expeditions or transport galleys. It also says I have access to levy administration. So let me see if I have access to levy administration. Yes, I do. I do not have access to those ships. So <clears throat> here's something else I don't understand about uh, why I don't have access to ships. So maybe it's got something to do with the harbor. Uh, but I've got a harbor here. <clears throat> Uh, 
Okay, so um, it's super annoying to have that happen, but uh, well, kind of the way I'm running this run is I'm just going to plow ahead and see what the deal is. Hang on a sec. I opened up a uh, beverage of a... Monster Energy Drink Ultra Gold. Okay. <clears throat> now my voice will be smooth and cool for the rest of the rest of the game here. So I think I've got three idle armies. I'm just gonna let it sit there. Keeping an eye. We'll wait here. And now I can end my turn. Okay. Keep going. I get more influence. I get more money. I get a notification. My notification says I sold my silk for 45. That's not, not too bad. So it looks like the first couple of sales are pretty cheap, but now I'm getting 45. I assume that's a one-time deal. I don't know what. So I don't I have no idea what luxuries are good for. Are they? I I do not know. Yeah, I've already written down. I have no idea what luxuries do. So, uh, is that something that uh, increases stability? I, I suppose I could actually figure out. Let's see. This is obsidian. Is that a luxury good? Nobody knows. Uh, copper. Yeah, so it looks like a luxury good. Silver. So, yeah, I don't know what's going on. I get, it gives you stabilities, but do I have to mine it to get the stability? I do not know. I do not know. I'll keep going here. So I want to go to my ship. Who's on my one, two, three. So I just want to... Okay, so that's not the edge of the map. That's the edge of some territory. In. Acknowledged. And he. Oops, never mind. Don't do that. Okay, so next turn. Uh, so why are some of these squares different? This square says it has algae. This square does not have algae. So if you have algae, what do you get? I don't know. This square has no algae so if you pull out far enough you can see these algae kelp farms turbulent waters um i'm going to stay out of turbulent waters and in fact i'm going to stay out of these well i'm right in the middle of a uh, algae bloom right now oh base movement cost two well that's why i stopped okay so the algae so this is base movement cost one one one, one. Okay, so I don't want to go back to here because I won't be able to make it. So I, I'll go out, find out what, what this thing is, probably some magic flying turtle or something, and then come back to this square here. We'll do that next turn, which is going to be most interesting. I'm paying uh, one gold per turn to have these guys hang around here. Uh, I will say, if you look at this outpost here, uh, this outpost is called Turin. If you look at that outpost, it's, the graphics are real cool. I, I really, I'm really enjoying the graphics in this game. Uh, they're not super duper hyper ultra cool, but they're cool enough. Uh, it's kind of interesting. This is on a, uh, a mountainside, so the graphics look a little smirched. But you can see the uh, Molten Valley construction here where they've got a, a defensive wall and some defensive hills going on there. You can see the uh, roads coming in and out. Uh, you can see this road. The roads are built automatically once you once you research the wheel. Uh, unlike, well, anyway. Um, so you can see this road coming, uh, there's a road coming out, uh, going northeast on this uh, outpost, and then it goes all the way around here, up, 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 around these mountains, and ends up here in Patrickfell. So uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, apparently you can't build roads across or through mountains, at least not in the uh, classical era. Um, and I do have roads that pop up, go through Stonehenge. You know, 
we've got roads that go to various outposts. This is an outpost. It's not called an administrative center. Uh, okay, so I don't want them to actually do anything. Yes, command. I don't we'll want them wait. to actually do anything. I don't want them Keeping to do anything in my turn. I'm super interested in my turn because I want to go over to here where my ship is. Hop in and out and see what's going on with that guy. Now you can't end. I think you can end one turn in the ocean if you're a early vessel. Okay, so supposedly I can now build an aqueduct. I can also build a water mill and artificial reservoirs. Plus two feet on river. That's good. Got an air star from that science, so now I've got one left. And what am I doing here? Okay, so I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna pick, pick my guy up, go here. Go here. I found a wreck. 50. Geez, that thing flies away. 50 influence and 40 science. Oh my god, 40 science. That's a lot of science. That's a good chunk of science. So, um, I think that's pretty cool. Uh, and I said I was going to go back here, but this is a one unit, so I can just pop into here. Got it. I'm to push back the boundaries of what I can see here, which I want to do because there might be some land there, or at least coastal waters. For instance, if I saw coastal waters here, I could get there, but I, I don't want to pop out there, at least not right now. Uh, into the ocean and then get uh, get whacked. All right, so I got a new Zashi. I am going to pop him down to here. here. And I'm going to look and see. Can I build that freaking transport? And the answer is no, I cannot. So let me go back just real quick. I've already obsessed over this too much. Trade expeditions. I have researched trade expeditions because it's filled in here. I can build, I can do levy administration, which did show up in my city, but I can't build this transport galley. So I'm thinking maybe I don't have a uh, harbor, but now I'm thinking, well, I do have a harbor because I can build those other kinds of ships, the uh, Pentaconter. Uh, anyway, am I, what am I, am I researching something right now? It doesn't look like it. Uh, let me pick something to research. So as I said, I'm just gonna pick the cheapest. So rhetoric. Library, theater, artisan workshop, charcoal. No, that still sounds nice. Oh, I don't have two copper. More stability. Easier to out attach outposts. I can get some cav. Um, I don't really know. I'll just pick this. And then I'll pick this. And then I'll pick this. And then I'll pick this. So I'm picking all the cheap ones. Uh, I don't. That means I don't have to worry uh, for the next uh, 19 turns. Uh, again, if I was playing for real, I wouldn't wouldn't do this. But I, I just want to get through right now. It doesn't really matter what order I research these things in. Keeping an eye. We'll stay here. Yes, tomorrow. We'll keep an eye on things. Oh, you know what? Maybe transport. Jeez. Replaces land units which embark to travel across. Oh, you know what? Maybe now my land unit can walk on the water. Let's try that. Jeez, of course it can. 
course he can. So can he stay there? No complaints. Get it. So I sh if it's a harbor, there's no embarkation cost. Okay. Wow. Um. Yeah, so once you know what they mean, then when they say what they mean, it's understandable. But uh, what that means is you can now... Okay, so I'm going to get my uh, in, in, my uh, unit and pop him over there. You have him run around on this island here and then uh, uh, claim it. Oof, that was interesting. Um, merchant gallery can't build... You're right. Cannot build a merchant gallery. Okay, understand. Land units. Auto. Turn. Into merchant galleys. Okay, so I've got some influence. I've got some money. Should I... S okay, so I don't have... I'm not building anything here. I probably should help on uh, doing something. Okay, my uh, stability is up to 100 now. Uh, let's see, that's uh, 61, 86, and 30 is uh, 116. And I'm losing 16, so I'm right at 100. So if I were to build a district, if I were to build a district, I would lose 8. This out, the uh, stability would go down to 92, which is good because it's above. 90 so I could build something if I wanted to uh, build a, uh, a district or also okay two out of three okay so I do not need oh food is pretty good so food is uh, one every three turns that's pretty quick now, what is this tax thing? 3% uh, money on main plaza? Sure, let's do that. Let's do that. So now my intern button is, is alive. And I will end the turn. And in fact, I'm going to end the stream. So I've got a good uh, hour in. Oh, one of my air. Okay. Somehow I got a influence star. And that allows me to skip out of the next... Greetings, Sovereign. Are okay, you with so I'll me? play the next turn. Just so or I can. Against uh, me. Actually, you know what? I'll do the uh, cultural selection that move on to the the medieval era in the next. Okay, here's the problem. Their war support is higher than mine, so if they start a war and then they grind me down, let's say they get up to eighty, which is their uh, total war support, they get they declare war on me, and then the war support goes down by. Uh, you know, 50, my war support will go down to zero and their war support will go down to 30 and they'll win the war just because of that alone. So, uh, right now they're friendly. They're the leader of our religion. Not for long, if I have anything to say about it. However, uh, wait, what did you want to talk to me about? Oh, they changed their attitude. Well, good. Uh, it's because they haven't killed them recently. So I'm at peace with everybody. I'm such a good guy. I don't understand how trade works. Probably could throw another treaty in here. I don't want open borders and I don't want to give them my maps. And they're friendly, so I don't know what's going on here. I don't know what a cri crisis is. So I'll get out of here. Let me turn off the hexes. The Huns now like me. I've got an Aesthete Star. I've got five idle armies. And urgent affairs. Okay, let's see what's going on here. As your horizons widen, your armies grow in lock step with your ambitions. Uh, not really. It is try time to decide the nature of the soldiers who compose your armies. Show details. So again, if I go outside this this little band here. Uh, then I lose stability. So we're, I think I'm in right now, and if I go here, I will lose stability. 
Wait, Liberty. No, wait. I'm here. And if I choose conscripts, I go to the middle and now I will gain stability but lose influence. Uh, I like that influence. Uh, if I go to professional soldiers, I'll go even more to this side here. Uh, so I'm, I'm just going to, uh, without really thinking about it, I'm going to try to get more or less to the minimum, to the, to the middle. Uh, that was my noob run item number three. No, noob run item number six. If I have a civic choice, I'm going to try to get to the middle more or less. That would be this guy right here. This should improve efficiency and camaraderie, but it'll probably cause a lot of complaining. Plus draft dodges, what it'll cause. So I picked that I can hire mercenary armies cheaply, which uh, I kind of part, partly did because if you look up here in my territory, I've got a bunch of potential military armies with this uh, Nock guy. I don't know if Nock is the name of the city or the name of the civilization. Oh, look at all these discoveries up here. Oh my gosh, this is cool. What is this? Coastal water. Uh, so I need to get a ship and run him around here. Okay, so let's go back here. I get I got a bunch of science with this guy. I'm definitely going to pop out to here and see if there's any coastal water or... Uh, coast, I don't see that. So and I'm just going to keep heading down uh, on this side of the continent. Okay, so this base movement cost is two, so I... Ready all, huh. Shouldn't have been able to get there. This guy, okay, so now this guy... How far can a transport ship go? He can go two, two units, so I can go here. And he's not damaged, so being out in the coastal water doesn't hurt him too much. And then I can't go on top of this uh, lovely volcano, so I'm going to yeah. go here. And they, these guys move six on land, so I'm going to try to land quickly, although I'm guessing uh, that disembarking uh, takes up all your movement points. So I probably should have uh, went to gone, taken my unit, gone to here, you know, just gone across this narrow channel here instead of going through the harbor. Uh, live and learn. Live and learn. That's why I'm playing this game. Uh, that's why I'm playing the game in this style. Okay, so now... I'm going, I am going to charge a new, uh, cha choose a new culture. I'm going to choose it now, and I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it. My first culture was an aesthete culture. I didn't, I don't think I got any error stars for influence, so that didn't work. Uh, I realized that I made a bad mistake in that first era by putting a city right up next to a mountain. I had no food, so I, I went to the Celts, who had an ag agriculture, agrarian society. That's That was the basis for my... Um, Selection, I didn't spend hours and hours on it. So now I think I want something. Is there something that can help me explore the water? That would be nice. Let me just go take a look. Uh, okay, I get more uh, war support. I don't think I've got a war coming soon, but uh, other people have thought that. Uh, money? Money? Uh, so anyway, if, if there's nothing that'll help me uh, on on the uh, have ships go faster, then what I'm going to do is pick something that's not aesthete and not agrarian, just so I have a different uh, way of going through things. I'm definitely not going to be a Frank. Love the Franks, by the way. Ghanaian's uh, merchant. Expansionist. Can always trespass. You know what? That's super nice because my ships now can go down on the coast. Okay, let me write that down. Um, uh, expansionist. OK, 
Okay. Also, open borders. Okay, it'd be nice if I could spill borders, but who knows? So this this expansion might be the way to go. Uh, not because I want to expand, but because I want to run my ships around. Gain five stability. Okay, that looks super nice because I'm right at the limit on both of my cities. I'm at 90, I'm at about 100 right on the edge there. So if I gain five stability when complete the construction and it costs me eight, I'll only lose three. So I'm, right now I'm leaning towards the Khmer English. More population. Wait, what is this? Agrarian. So I've already done agrarian. Militarists. Blah, blah, blah. Scientists. Ah, the Norsemen. The men from the north. Militarist counts. Okay, so I am I'm think I'm going to pick... The, what was it? The uh, Khmer? 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 Five stability. So that allow me to build more districts. This, the Teutons, will allow me to sail my ships around. Um, not going to spend too much time thinking about it. I'm going to become a Khmer. There we go. So that's uh, how I confirm. Uh, let's see. So I get plus three industry on a maker's quarter, which I don't have too many of, but I can build a couple now. Uh, Barry. Uh, yeah, so if you look at uh, New Brun number seven, district build it. That means if there's a unique district, I'm going to build it just to see what happens. So a beret counts as makers and farmers. It gives me food, gives me industry per population. Oh, nice. Uh, it does cost some stability. Oh, geez, 42. What is this, elephants? Oh my gosh, look at that. Widespread use of war elephants in the Khmer region hits its apogee with the development of the multiple crossbow elephant artillery. Yeah, obviously. Those aren't just made up words. Got a range of three, a movement of six, strength of 42. This is the way to go. But I need to research military architecture and have two copper. Okay, so um, I think I'm in good shape. It says I'm in the Celts, but as soon as I end the turn, I'm going to end up being in the medieval area era and be the Khmer. Uh, how come I'm not a Khmer? I picked the Khmer. Wow. Uh, okay, so resource sold. They, some, somebody bought some more of my silk. I'm still the Celts for some reason. Um, I'm going to move my ships around because I'm really, that's, that's, that's the fun part of the game right now at least. One, I'm going to pop out here. Two. There we go. Oh, I can do this thing. Find that uh, research there. My next guy is this guy. So this is going to use up all of his turn so I think I can go here and then use up my turn now I'm just gonna... okay good for you I'm gonna find uh, I'm going to uh, build a claim the territory um, so it's not telling me where it thinks would be a good idea to build the territory six six four six six five Eight something. Eight two, eight six two. Two six ten, there we go. Okay, this is eight three. That's eleven. This is four six is ten. Six five. I think this might be the way to go here. Oh wait, there's an eight five. There we go. I'm gonna go there. Right. Cost me a couple turns, but I'll get over there, and everybody will be happy. So I'm, I've uh, found this uh, island territory off the coast. 
I figured out after a couple of turns and a bunch of uh, swearing how to use the transport galleys. Uh, I've got a early era Pentacopter, Pentacopter over here, um, navigating around the uh, this other continent. Uh, at some point, I'll probably shoot that guy out into the ocean, have him come back, see what happens. Um, so I guess all of my units now can pop out onto the coast. So. Maybe I'll send this guy down here, have him pop out there and see if there are any islands off the coast here. Yeah, let me go ahead and do that. Okay, cool. Uh, what else do I got? I'll just leave those guys there. I'll leave those guys there. That's everybody. And now Are I've you got interested? a treaty. Yes. They want me you to have open my borders. Um, I'm against that. We're trading resources. We have a treaty. They're friendly. We signed a new treaty. They depend on access to our resources. So maybe they won't attack us, or maybe they will attack us. Uh, she's loyal. And she's vindictive. So in the past, we did have a bit of a tussle, a bit of a big uh, kerfuffle. So probably not good. So is there some way I can see how many militaries that she has? I can't. You know what? I am going to just ah, open borders, man. Well, it'd be nice to sail that ship around there. I'll, I'll do it. Uh, and then if I wake up tomorrow with a Hun's knife in my back as I sleep in my uh, this kingdom chamber... This is good chamber, for us. We accept. I guess that's my problem. This makes me... This makes me excitable. Okay, now this mountain range has a name. What's it called? It's called the Barisians. And this mountain range doesn't. This is cool, the Tongass, it's uh, a huge forest slash swamp area, I guess. Okay, so I can end my turn. I'm going to end my turn right at this. I'm in the classical era. No, I'm not in the classical area. I moved over to the next era, didn't I? Okay, let me look one last time and see what I can build. Um, okay, so now I can build more makers, I think, is what the Khmer could do. I could build some... Uh, oh, I can build an iron mine. Infrastructures. Can't build boats because I don't have a harbor in this district. And, uh, okay. That's that. Uh, oh, I could... Oh, so I can't pay for the building, maybe. Okay, so I'm trying to build levy administration. It costs 774. I've got 739 in there. I could do some other stuff. All right, so I'm, I'm going to hit the next, the end turn button and then see, uh, hopefully I'm at that point going to be a Khmer. There we go. Wisdom and technical innovation from earlier eras bring humankind new knowledge, and we immediately use it to find new ways to kill each other off. Greater empires build more powerful armies, but brute strength may be defeated by superior innovations. It is brains versus brawn, with ever richer cities as tempting spoils for the victor. For innovation and brute strength, the Khmer present you with sophisticated hydraulic engineering and ballista-equipped elephants. I like it.
Okay, so that's where I'm going to end the stream. Um, I'm in the medieval era. I will start the next stream at turn 67 in the medieval area era. I'll uh, be hands off on this. I might go in and take a look and see if there's something I can build or not build. Um, maybe I can understand a little bit more about what's going on. Uh, so I did have the annoyance of not understanding how the game worked, particularly with the uh, ships. Um, some of that's on me, but a lot of it is on the descriptions that they that they put in there and the way things are phrased and the way things look on the screen. Um, sure, I understand it now, but they could have just as easily put a bunch of uh, random words out there and I would have understood it at exactly the same pace. Um, because I didn't understand what they meant until I actually did something, and then it made sense to me. And in the meantime, I spent a lot of time complaining about it, like I'm doing right now, which I'm going to stop. So I'm going to try to figure out what the hell's going on. Uh, next time, you can join me, and we'll have uh, lots of fun. I'm going to end the new run now uh, for... Uh, for Session 7, next session.